Well, this video uh, is going to be about monitoring the health and status of the infrastructure components like vSphere, um, and the sixth manager, and the control cluster. Um, so, besides the using the the the, the well vCenter operations manager with the NS6 uh, plugin uh, or add-on, um, you can also monitor, uh, for example. Well, the infrastructure components, for example, the uh, your vSphere environment itself. So when you go to vSphere, you will have uh, you can go to vCenter, you can go to the hosts, and you can see the different hosts here, and you can see well if they're connected, uh, what the status is, the, the the clusters that are in, and the CPU usage, memory usage, the CPU count, the uptime. Um, well, alarm actions, etc., etc. If they're in HA, um, so you can see a lot of warnings here. Um, for me, for example, why you can just double click here, and um, you can go to the issues, and you can see, for example, I have SSH enabled. Well, which is an issue. I don't think it's an issue because it's good to have SSH enabled because in a lab environment you can just well test a lot of a lot of stuff out and uh, do stuff more easy um, and it also says well my system logs on host on this specific host is store is, is stored on non-persistent storage which is basically not a problem for you but if the those if those two uh, actions were resolved or issues were resolved um, then I would probably don't have this yellow exclamation mark in front of it but uh, let's go back here so uh, this is how you can see well the different. There are also other ways to look at this. If you go to um, hosts and clusters, and if you go to uh, well, this is my data center. These are my clusters, and these are my hosts with the VMs. If I uh, go to this data center here, if I go to related objects, um, I can go to my hosts here, and basically I can see exactly this information here that I just well brought up to you. You can see my clusters as well and all, uh, all, all different information here of the clusters that are, the, that are built out of these hosts. Um, so that's for the vSphere part. Uh, NS6 manager, uh, let me go back. Uh, we need to go to the NS6 manager uh, itself. Um, when you log in you see the screen. Uh, you go to view summary and once you've done view su summary you can see the CPU, the memory, the storage. Uh, look at this message here. Upgrade the system virtual hardware to at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. Well, as I'm running a lab environment, I needed to scale my uh, my my memory down to uh, 8 gig or 8,000 megabytes um, because otherwise I would not be able to run the rest or the the the, the edge service gateways and the logical distribution routers, etc., etc. Um, in order to, to build a well and a six lab, well, I'm using right now. I'm using six two zero, or the exam is using six zero two from top of my head, um, so you won't have this problem. Um, but when you're installing the six two zero version of NSX manager, um, you can see that the, the the services or the components that are running, um, yeah, yeah, that's the way how we look at the uh, health of this component here. So another um, well way how we can look at more components and, and the health of more components, we can go to network and security, we can look at the NS6 edges, um, we can see if it's deployed and um, well We can go or these these were the edges here, so we can we can look at uh, some basic stuff here, and um, we can also go to the installation part where we can see the N6 manager here and the version and um, the controller where the status is normal, which tells you that it's okay. Um, we can go to the logical switches as well, where we can see all statuses are normal here as well. Um, and so we can get some information here as well. So the control cluster, specifically, you can see the controller nodes here. And uh, if I had more here, you can probably see that their status is all normal here. I have one right now for lab purpose. 